Yeah, it's a cool game. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? Skills! That's what that was, Steve. Pure raw skills. I almost just died to the fork of my it's hard to believe we've only put four and a half hours into this game. I know. Feels like our life. I really thought this game was longer. So did I. Oh, oh this no. level's fun. No. This level is pain. I love this level. Hey, tell me if I'm supposed to go into like a crevice or something. I will. Boy, the go music. Left. Oh, go left. You're up. Just rambi it. It's fine. Forget about me. Um, this oh, music. I oh, I guess I won't. It's fine. I'm there. You'll get me. This music is no, straight I I out of Mar. Just hit it with the horn. Horn attack. Horn attack. Oh. Yeah. No, this music is straight out of Donkey Kong 64, though. Like, tell me I'm wrong. Oh shit, where am I supposed to go? This has a... So did Grant Kirkhope do the Donkey Kong 64 music? Or was that David Wise? That would that would be... I want to say Justin question? David Wise, but yeah, that is a question for our good friend Justin, the audio I, file. I mean, whatever... Whoever did the the to me they're basically music. the same person even see, though they're not see i see them entirely differently oh wow that was unfortunate but this song sounds unlike any other song in this game it feel like if you played that for me and i didn't know like the sound font i would be like well, i think this is from like a, a rare 64 game like banjo kazooie or something you know So Donkey Kong Country 2 is David Wise. So Kirk Hope did Donkey Kong 64. Who did I say to the other one? Uh, David Wise did this game. Okay. I feel like this had to be like a Kirk Hope track then, if he was even working with them back then. Because this just sounds entirely different to me. Yeah, it does. It it does not fit the rest of the soundtrack. Okay, Steve, bonus stage is coming up in there or anything? Anything I gotta... Go to the right. Nope. Just kidding. There's nothing in there. Man, the Rhino makes this a lot easier. Okay. Uh, get on that platform on the left and charge. Go. There you Boom. go. Teamwork. Yeah, I like that. Oh, kill them all. It's good. It's good. I got this. I like that tonight I am the muscle and you are very much the brains. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the sad part is, is I can't even give you much warning because hey, I fine. just have to see certain sections. I feel like I've learned to interpret your quick warnings, though. Like, nor I remember I used to yell at you about, like, don't yell at me, Steve, but like now it's like, you know, oh, Steve's telling me to go. You're up. I feel yes. like there's something there, but there's not. There's not. There is something coming up in one of those. That the feels suspicious. Is where. That feels like the kind of thing you should have dropped. There was a big old open. Okay. It's just, yeah. Watch out for that porcupine. Oh, you played that risky. Okay. Checkpoint. Where is it? Beautiful, sweet, beautiful, gorgeous checkpoint. There, there it is. is. <laughs> Time to get parody. Look at you. Oh. Don't forget, you can spit. No. Am I missing something other than that? Oh, that's Minty. right. I can't believe I just did that without even thinking. That was pretty impressive. I'm guessing you have to take a particular particular route. You just have to survive. Oh, really? 
It's pretty chill. See, this would have been a good one for collect the stars and replace all the bananas yeah. with stars. Agreed. That's our second bonus game, right? Yes, it is. All we're missing is a DK coin. Which I feel like is either hidden at the wall or hidden at the end of the level. So remember how those big chomper guys were basically like dogs in Donkey Kong 64? Uh-huh. As a kid, I thought they were the cutest things. I wanted one as a pet. I still think they're cute. It always broke my heart when you would hit them and their teeth would be like the only thing that survived. It really bummed me out. See, I believe it or not, I only played Donkey Kong 64 once. Really? Yeah. God, I 100 percent it, but I only played it once. I just finished it for the first time like a couple of years ago. Cool game. Not my favorite oh, this game. Part's cool. But cool game. I don't know why. I've always thought this part of the level is cool. Yeah, it is cool. You jump over, go under, and they die. I like jump it. Jump over, go under, and you're dead. And we're running and we're jumping oh yeah this and part's we're dying <laughs> evidently need to get need to get that pattern recognition down the advantage to dying mid-level see i feel like these two games work really well together too because like the first one is obviously Donkey Kong Isle, and then the, the pirate ship. And the second one, you start on the pirate ship, you're on K. Rules Island, but you can still see the first island from the first game. They're very connected, mm -hmm. you know, they're very uniform. The third game just takes place on some random archipelago or whatever, and there's like no, yeah. you know, there, there, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It just exists because they needed to make a third game, you know? Well, and then even going back to Donkey Kong 64, mm -hmm. you're on Donkey Kong Island and the Kremlin Island all over again. Yeah, yeah. You know, it just and felt so much. It felt so much more unified, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, for whatever reason, Kitty Kong just does not. He doesn't fit that same like design niche that Diddy and Dixie do. Like like Diddy was a fan character essentially. Like he didn't exist before the first game. And right. if I remember right, they actually made him to like replace Donkey Kong Jr. Because originally yeah. it was gonna be Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. and they wanted to like mix it up a little bit, so they made Diddy. And then Dixie, I feel like, was just a fan favorite as soon as she came out. You know, you got a girl yeah. Kong, she she does the ponytail spin, she's really cool. Kitty Kong is just not a fun character. Like, he literally encumbers you <laughs> by being yeah. so heavy, you know? Do, 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 do. Well, and the, the sad part is, is they could have done some cool stuff with that mechanic. Oh, yeah. And there's like three sections in the whole game where you need it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh... Oh, oh. Ooh, nailed it. <laughs> Not even close. That was, here you go. Mm -hmm. That's right. Jump, 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 jump. Boy, that spin really doesn't help. <laughs> it's there for so long. You got to just jump, jump. Hey, you're jump jumping. I saw it when you were there. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to jump, jump. Yeah, the ponytail spin really didn't help that. <laughs> As it, no. I had to get like a perfect jump or I was done for. And then they do this bullshit. Good work. Man, though, that like Kremlin face with the fire there in the background. Is. Ooh. Is this the DK coin? Where's the DK coin? Well, damn it. Oh, is it behind it? It's behind it. No? Well, Steven, put on your explorer hat. I don't know where it is. Let's do some exploring. I don't know where it is. Man, I am really digging this remix of like the main theme. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> that did not do was, what I was hoping it would that do. That wasn't good. No, that was not fantastic. There's only one place it can be. Yes. It's gotta be in the parrot section. Oh, because you went through it so I think, quick. I feel like I went through it so fast that I missed something. I could see it. Yeah, it's a cool game. Oh, dear. Oh, what the fuck was that? Skills! That's what that was, Steve. Pure, raw skills. I almost just died to the fork of my... Yeah, does web woods in two lives, rolls off the first cliff in the next level. I thought he was jumping to attack me. I thought his death animation was him jumping and lunging at okay. me. Okay, so go get the parrot. Go, 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 go. I forgot it okay, was Okay, so fly fast. I, I'm going to tell you where I think it is. Fly fast enough. I'd rather not fly that fast. Huh? I'd rather kind of... Look well, you me. need to fly a little bit fast to get up there. And then I think... I feel like it's off to the right and down. Fuck. Right. Did it. Yep, that was what I did. I, right. I I went too fast. Gotta go fast, but not too fast, Steve. All right, well, all of that, um, all those coins and lives that we just earned are gonna be totally gone by uh, the time we boot up next. It's okay, because but what's our next level? Our next level is Clapper's Cavern, Steve. Oh, this is a cool level. This is the ice version. Jeez. I think every, I, I think, I think there's this and then there's the boss, right? I mean, we're close, right? No, there's clap. There's Clapper's Cavern. I know we still have Toxic Climb and that level is going to suck. Mm. So I we might the have... only level that's harder than Toxic Climb is, um, well, and there's Chain Link Chamber oh, that we haven't done too. Okay, so we are not. I was going to say maybe the like, next episode will be the the, mm. the first so I... finale, but clearly not. I did not mean to hit A. That's okay. Um, we saved, right? We saved, yes. Okay, we can safely exit out of the game, which is done for you. It should have just disconnected you. Uh, thank you. All right, I guess I'll stop our recording.